What's up, everybody? My name is Lee Hula, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lee Hula Superfina. Today, we are reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2, episode 15. This episode title was Ramus's warning and the last episode it ended with her warning Rimuru that Tempest is doomed and they started the episode recapping the ending of the episode with the same scenes and such and then it ended there that was it like there was no explaining why they're doomed how they're doomed just that that's it and I was a little disappointed with that. I thought we were going to like hear more stuff because I was thinking maybe they're doomed because of the other demon lords. Because we've been talking about other demon lords and she's part of the big 10 demon lords. And I know in the last review I said that there is nine and that's because I literally counted demon lords in that picture. And there's actually 10. I'm like, oops, my bad. There's 10. Not including Rimuru. But anyways, so she has a warning and then they start talking about Veldora. Ramirez is like, Veldora, he's around. You know, last time I saw him, I beat him up. He can't handle me. Ha 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 ha. That's how she laughs, okay? <laughs> and then Rimuru is like, Ramirez, let me show you. He literally just takes her and shows her Veldora. And she's like, Veldora? He's like, yeah, and he's like just reading manga, chilling, and like his whole dragon aura like popped out for her, and she like fainted, and that was it. Warning ended. Not really a big warning, <laughs> and it was forgotten because the rest of the episode was continuing the meeting, and it was explaining more. Uh, quantifying more on the plan of how to explain how Falmouth lost in the battle. Why 20,000 people died. So this episode is a little interesting in the planning. I wasn't expecting all these details and I really like that. The story is Falmouth was greedy. That's true. And attacked this they were fighting and because of like all the casualties it somehow broke the seal on Veldoro's like trap and such freed him and with Yom, Rimuru and Yom they somehow came to an agreement with Veldora after so many sacrifices explaining the other deaths they made an agreement with Veldora and he's now the guardian of the Dura forest again right and then Rimuru is explaining the story the story continues that he's gonna ask Falmouth for reparations they want some payment and the other leaders of nations are in the meeting they're like <laughs> yeah right Falmouth is not gonna like pay you guys they're greedy remember you're not gonna give up money <laughs> and Rimu is explaining well we're planning for that because we actually want to start a civil war and Yom is gonna be on one side while the current king I forget his name he's gonna be on the other side Yom is gonna like defeat the current king's stuff and it's gonna reborn the kingdom with Yom as the king so Rimuru is saying that he's gonna back Yom and Dorgo Kingdom. They're like, yeah, we're gonna back him up too. And uh, Elulu of the Sources Dynasty of uh, Thalion. See, I told you I was gonna remember the name. They're still like hesitant on agreeing everything, but towards the end of the meeting, they're like, yes, we will ally with you. We're gonna work with you guys, but not before calling out on some people's BS. Apparently, um, Blumen was a little not forthright on everything. So Elulu called out Blumen and was saying, you know, as a small nation, wouldn't you want to side with the Western uh, church because they can help you out this whole time. 
they could be backing you and you can give them information little by little because they're humans and they can fight against the monsters. And Blue Moon, the guild master, he was like, well, my boss wanted to side with the monsters. He didn't want to have a war and such. So he decided to side with the Druid Tempest Federation. And I'm thinking, dang. The Western Church must be really bad. Like they must have been like shady or like there's some sketchy stuff going on. Because the go master from Blue Moon, he is actually an assistant of the intelligence bureau, you know, like secret agent kind of stuff, like intelligence. They investigate, they know all the secrets of all the kingdoms and they hold the cars for when they're needed. So it's like, okay, you guys know what's going on with that church. You guys know. You're just not really explaining everything, which is fine. We understand. Actually, all the leaders of the nations, they understood that, especially the Sorcerer's Dynasty of Thalion, because apparently Elud is the tactician for them. So he totally understands about intelligence, gathering intelligence, and keeping all your cards and such. And that's why he called out Blumen because like, yeah, I know you guys know stuff. I know what you guys could have done, would have done, but you didn't. And now I'm wondering why. Like, I'm calling you guys out. If we're all going to be forthright in this meeting, I need you guys to be forthright too. And after that, I'm like wondering, okay, what about you guys? You guys aren't really forthright. You've been in Visiting. You've been asking questions this whole time. You guys like are all on the edge. You're like so suspicious of people. And we have his daughter Erin like dad just get over it and make an alliance. <laughs> but after all that, uh, Elulu decides to make an alliance with Rumuru with the Jura Tempest Federation. Yay! More alliances. And I find it interesting that in the anime, they were saying that this was the third human nation. I wouldn't call it human nation because isn't the Sorcerer's Dynasty of Thalion elves? So I'm wondering if that was just like a typo in the subtitles or something like that. And isn't the Dorgan a... Uh, nation aren't there dwarves so oh, oh no <laughs> i thought boom was the human and then we got the dwarves and we got the elves you know we got different types of races but i if you guys have uh corrections or better details explanations please let me know in the comments because i'm a little confused here i'm thinking the light novel or the web novel or the manga would have a better translation details on this stuff. Besides that, then the episode changes scenes to Clayman. Ugh, Clayman, such a dick. Anyways, it has him and Laplace talking to each other. They're discussing things, and Clayman is saying that he's going to gather souls from this other area so he can awaken to become a demon lord. Now, I was under the impression that he was already a demon lord. I mean, Rimuru was going to take Clayman's place, correct? So I'm like thinking, wait, can you be a demon lord without awakening? I I guess that can happen because Rimuru is awakened, but he's not a demon lord. <laughs> like, hmm, interesting. And then Lapaz is talking about Pergus and he's asking Clayman what he's going to do. And Clayman's like telling him his schemes that he's going to use the death of Mulan for a reason why he's attacking Rimuru and etc. 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 Then Lapaz reveals that he's not fully in control of all these plans and just leaves it at that. He has been a little cryptic, which was a little annoying to me because I thought. Kazarim was in on this and isn't Clayman part of Kazarim's group like he said that Kazarim is his only boss the only one he would answer to so I'm like a little confused here I thought Kazarim wanted Clayman to do something at Walpurgis but it 
seems like claiming is going to be sacrificed like he's going to be disposable in this plan i'm i I kind of want Clayman to get what he deserves, but I don't like being confused. <laughs> Was this episode purposely made to make me a little like, what? So I can look forward to other episodes. Like everything from Rumor's side, was great everything was explained or ex gonna explain that he just became a demon lord not how he became a demon lord they're gonna explain how these people died in the battle between tempest and falmouth and then it goes to claim it and a lot of these are cryptic and i'm like what is going on here? I know what's going on with Kazurim and Yuki, and I know what's going on with Clayman, but there's no communication going on between those two because it seems like Clayman doesn't know that Kazurim is back! That's what it looked like to me. What did it look like to you guys? And that's my review of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Season 2, episode 15. If you've seen the episode, what'd you think about it? If you haven't and just know about it from this review, what do you think about the review? If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have a one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a super fun channel reviewing that time I got reincarnated as a slime, season 2, episode 15. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.